A portion of this video was sponsored by Norton Lifelock. I can't believe most players didn't know that if you're ever getting shot down in a sky base, just chuck a gas can on the floor and don't worry about falling to your death because apparently you take no fall damage. Yeah, these are 25 Fortnite tips all players need to know. First up, we have the no fall damage trick. A huge advantage for any player out there is this no fall damage trick. To put it simply, you can just jump into absolutely any bush or vehicle on the map and it'll make you take zero fall damage. Like in a build battle or on a tall building, simple, just land in a bush. You don't see any around, just land on a car and spam the interact button just before you hit the ground. You land in the car rather than splat on the ground. But up next, we have the easy reboot trick. It turns out that you can easily reboot your teammates safely using this trick. If you want to save materials and time, just use a car. All you have to do is drive up to a reboot van, switch to the passenger side, and just start rebooting. This lets you revive your team from inside the car, saving you materials and letting you get a quick getaway. It's great, just like the chug splash trick. If you ever find yourself or your builds on fire, there's a simple way to extinguish it. Now that fire is more common in Fortnite with gas cans, fireflies, and the all new dragon theme exotic weapons, you're gonna need to learn this trick. Basically, all you have to do is use a chug splash. If you throw it on a fire, it extinguishes it immediately. And you get healed at the same time. But for something you could use every single match, there's the bouncer phase trick. If you're looking for the best way to phase into someone's box using a common everyday item, then look no further than this trick. If you have bouncers, which are pretty easy to find, then you're ready to pull this off. Just get someone weak, shoot their wall a couple of times, and then place a bouncer in front of it. Now simply walk into the bouncer and pickaxe their wall to go right through. There is no way low ping is gonna sabotage you this time, and it's a great trick to end your fights quickly. You gotta make sure you remember this one. This portion of the video is sponsored by Norton Lifelock. One of the biggest tips I could give to all gamers is to make sure you don't get hacked. And I know I make it sound too simple, but that's where Norton 360 for gamers comes in. Norton 360 provides multiple layers of protection for the security and privacy you need without having a bunch of annoying notifications and stuff pop up that ruins your gaming experience. Like, I think we can all agree the internet could be scary sometimes. You know there's hackers out there that could turn on your webcam and even stalk you? It's freaky. Not only does Norton 360 for gamers help protect against that, but they also help prevent hackers from accessing your device with malware that allows them to steal your personal information for doxing or even potentially steal your accounts from you. Norton 360 for Gamers even has dark web monitoring for gamer tags to notify you if your accounts are discovered in the dark web. They also have a no log VPN that hides IP addresses, shielding your connection from snooping online hackers. I myself have been hacked before, and if I'd had Norton at the time, I might just have the stuff that they stole to this day. If you're a real gamer, you'll level up your cyber protection with Norton for Gamers. Click the link below to get a 14 day free trial, and thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of the video, but now back to more Fortnite tips. But moving on to our next tip, which is the dodging bullets trick. Yeah, there's actually a trick to dodge bullets in Fortnite, and it's simpler than you think. If you're in the back of a vehicle and are scared of getting hit by enemy bullets, make sure to emote. I mean, sure, it's fun to dance or whatever when you're on a boat or in the back of a truck, but it actually does increase your chances of survival and lessen your chances of getting hit. It also depends on the emote that you actually use. You've got to do something with lots of movement like the worm, and it'll make you really hard to hit. You're basically limiting your hitbox so the enemies can't shoot you. So keep it in mind when you're rotating, but now for the reload trick. After a tough fight, you always find yourself reloading your shotgun entirely, but that could slow you down a ton. So here's how to actually reload your shotgun without slowing down at all. It's as simple as just jumping in the air, reloading one bullet, and then swapping to another weapon. This will let you reload one bullet at a time without walking so slowly. It's perfect for the storm. But now we have the perfect grenade trick. If you love spamming people with grenades, then you're probably gonna wanna learn this trick. If you ping exactly where your enemy is, you can stand around like 70 meters away. Then all you gotta do is look at the top of the marker, move it down a little bit, and then just throw. If you do it right, you will have 100% accuracy every single time. But moving on, we have the free shield and rotation trick. If you wanna combine a nice rotation with some free shield, then you've come to the right place. It turns out that you could actually rocket ride your teammates into the zero point. So of course, as you know, that gives out free shields and launches them out the other side. It's a little tricky at first, but a few attempts and you'll be a pro. And now for the epic chest trick. So this next trick is tiny, but it makes a huge difference. With cash registers now being lootable in season five, it's important that you get every last one. Why? Well, there's a chance that it spawns the same loot as an epic chest, so keep an eye out for them. That was short and simple, just like the single use bouncer trick. A lot of the time when you're rotating, you'll use your bouncers and then get followed by your enemies, but there's a way to make your bouncers self-destruct once you use them. Basically, you build a ramp, do a 180, and place two walls with the bouncer on the top one. 
Now just edit the top row of that bottom wall just as you bounce it and it'll destroy all traces of your bouncer. You've got yourself a guaranteed escape without helping your enemies. And speaking of ramps, we have the ramp trap trick. So this is a tip that not many people know about and you won't do it often, but it's extremely OP when you do it. Whenever you're on a chase and they run into a room that has only one door, you can just trap them inside. You just place a ramp in front of the door and edit it to a half ramp. This is a simple door block and it works great as a ramp for your grenades too. But it turns out the ramp strats don't end there with the ramp phase trick. All right, when you get your enemies weak, it's really annoying when they hide in a box to heal, am I right? So here's how to phase in their boxes. Just shoot their wall a few times to make it weak and then place a ramp in front of it. Now just pickaxe while jumping under the ramp and you're in, no matter how bad the ping is. And the fun continues at the harpoon shockwave trick. We have another simple yet effective trick. If you grab a shockwave grenade and pair it with a harpoon, you can do some nasty damage. Literally all you do is you just shockwave into the air and harpoon your enemy up to you, and then they get completely taken up by fall damage. It's a lot of fun. And speaking of fall damage, here's the bouncer fall damage trick. If you're too caught up in a build fight, you might not realize your build was broken until the last second. So to avoid that inevitable fall damage, just get a bouncer ready and place it directly on the ground to save yourself. It's a last minute miracle and will always place down if you spam the trap button. But now for the landing faster trick. If you want to land faster than your enemies after jumping from the bus, here's a great tip. You could use the umbrellas around the map to land before anyone else. You just find them in places like Sweaty and Lazy Links, and all you have to do is glide onto the umbrella while spamming jump. Then you'll just bunny hop straight off the roof and onto the ground before literally anybody else. It helps for early game fighting. But moving on, now we have the Shockwave Cone Trick. We've seen a lot of ways to use a Shockwave over the last few seasons, but this one is one of the best strats out there, trust me. When your enemy turtles in a box, just place a cone on top of it. Now throw a Shockwave into the cone while running forward and boom, you're in their box. Works like a charm. It's almost as impressive as the thermal rift trick. If you want to find players quickly around the island, maybe you're going for a high kill game or something like that, then you'll love this trick. If you combo a rift fish and a thermal fish, you can get insane vision in the sky. It lets you see so much. I mean, look at all the people down here. And you might as well learn it alongside the charge trick. With the charge shotgun being back in season five, it brings back all the problems it had. But one of its biggest issues, charging while editing builds, might have just been solved. If you edit in a door, charge up your shotgun and then just walk through it. It's a great alternative. A lot of players don't expect this either, but they also don't expect the Rift Elimination Trick. If you remember the old Rift to go and how you could one pump someone in the sky with it, you'll know why it was OP. Well, it turns out a new version of this trick has returned in season five and it gets ugly. If you drive up to someone's box in a car and then switch seats, you could use a Rift Fish to teleport into the sky and shoot your opponent from the safety of your car. It's basically uncountable. Kinda also broken, but you know, that's for us to use. <laughs> it's almost as broken as the safest campfire trick. If you like healing up at campfires, but hate building around it and wasting mats, don't worry. Just use a car. All you have to do is light up a campfire, hop in a vehicle, and then just keep switching seats. It'll basically give you the safety without wasting any materials, and it also helps you not give away your position. And while we're on the topic of positioning, here's the fast rotate trick. To rotate and escape the storm, most players use bouncers or shockwaves, maybe even just a rift fish. But in arena, two of those items are vaulted. So the best way to rotate quickly is actually the snowy flopper. If you build up, then eat the flopper, you could slide down backwards ramps and get some insane speed. It's super fun and it's super effective. But now it's time for our third spot with the free llama trick. I think by now every player knows that the most important thing in Fortnite is getting mats and heals. It usually comes down to just those two, so if you find a llama, it's kind of a jackpot. And that's where the tip comes in. So if you want to easily find a free llama every single game, here's a trick for that. If you go into your game settings and find the try to know colorblind option, set it to 8. This will basically make the grass super vibrant around the island and llamas become super easy to spot. Just remember to turn this off after you've looted up, otherwise this becomes a disadvantage very quickly. And now we have number two, which is the harpoon teammates trick. If your teammate's about to die and you need to get to them quickly, here's a great tip for you. Just use a harpoon gun. Yep, you could actually harpoon down players, which means you could yank your teammate and pull them towards you. It's as simple as that. But while it's niche, it's definitely an awesome trick to know. But finally coming in at our number one spot, we have the heal while moving trick. One of the most annoying things in Fortnite is having to stand just to heal up. But luckily, there's a neat little trick to actually move while healing. Just get into a car, get to the maximum speed, and then switch seats and pop your heals. The car should keep driving for a while before it slows to a halt, so you have some time to heal up. It's great if you need to escape the storm or rotate. But that's all we have for tips today. Thanks so much for watching. Click on screen right now to check out our next video. This has been Tommy, and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.